Hi Hannah, thank you for taking your time for this interview today. But before we get started, can you please give us a brief description or introduction about yourself so that we can get to know you more? Hi, <laughs> so my name is Hannah. I'm 18 years old. Um, I'm currently taking a political science at the University of the Philippines, Manila. And I am one of the co-founders of the Lemon Pop Initiative and its present uh, writing and research committee head. What pushed you to create this organization? So the Lemon Pop Initiative was mainly established because we want to fight the misinformation that has been prevailing in social media nowadays. Um, we want to educate or rather share information about current news, um, social issues, or the personal advocacies that we have. What were the obstacles that you faced while establishing the foundation of your organization? And were they beneficial for you and for the organization to face those challenges? Uh, well, up until now, the biggest obstacle that we have to face is the fact that everything had to be done virtually. So we couldn't meet um, this connectivity problems, um, we have limited resources, and we are still a young organization. So it was really difficult at first. But I believe that slowly we are able to translate that obstacle into an advantage. So we use that to our benefit instead. Um, because we the founders are aware of the circumstances of this virtual setup, we had to learn uh, we had to learn the basics of social media. So we explored Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, how do people reach us, how do, how do we reach people, um, how do we convey our message to the people through this medium, and how do we encourage other people to join our initiative. Because uh, we are able to build that foundation at the very core of our team, um, we were able to maximize uh, the limited resources that we have and at the same time help other people. Um, uh, because we are comfortable with the space, with the medium that we use, um, the organization is slowly achieving its goals as an online content platform. Zeal for service is the wholehearted giving of oneself to the service of others. So my question to you is, how would you and your organization show this value in raising awareness to help those who are unjustly treated by our current society? Well, um, actually, um, the majority of the content that we release and the projects that we launch mainly revolve around regarding awareness on the struggles of the minority groups here in the Philippines. So, for example, we've had a donation drive for for uh, the victims of the Cagayan flooding and currently they have another donation drive for the Ada families in Pampanga. But even without um, but even without those donation drives, we would always put out information on the situation of the minority groups here in the Philippines. We make sure that the information that we that we release are well researched and at the same time voice out empathy for people to recognize that um, to recognize these struggles and hopefully persuade them to help these minorities as well. Hi Hannah May, thank you so much for coming here today and being able to share your knowledge on our topic which is Seal for Service. So the next thing that we would like to know is um, just like us, you are a college student and being a college student comes with a lot of responsibilities. So um, how do you manage or balance your time, your workload, the things you have to do, your responsibilities, considering that you are a college student and you are a leader of an organization as well? Um, how do you balance those to like, finish all the tasks or requirements that you have to do in a day or in a week? Uh, in terms of balancing responsibilities, you really have to know how to manage your time wisely. So you have to make a conscious effort to invest your time and be disciplined so that um, your craft wouldn't be so far. Given your experience, what is your advice to students like us who also plan to make a change and impact your society today? Unang muna sa lahat, bilang mga estudyante, para saan ang edukasyon kung hindi tayo magiging makatao? 
So, we should first know our core, our purpose. Para kanina ba natin ito ginagawa? Ginagawa lang ba natin ito para sa sarili o para din sa iba? So, it's just using your education wisely. For example, I'm a political science major, so I do not want the theories that I've learned to remain only in the classroom. I want to apply it to real-life situation where it matters. So, for example, if you're an art major, then express your advocacies through art. If you're a nursing student, then use your knowledge in public health to better um, strengthen the public health system that we have currently. So, yeah, it's just make something out of your knowledge so it, it doesn't go to waste. As a student, how can we help your organization achieve its goals? The success of Lemon Pop is not the success of this organization alone. It is the success of the collective who wants to make a change in the society that we have today. So, I guess, join an organization. Create your organization. And because we fight misinformation, you could help us through um, being informed with what's happening and being critical with the information that you receive and share. So, basically, let's just help each other out.